Good afternoon. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome and come on in. Welcome to the Western Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome lineup of institutions for you to hear from this afternoon. Um, but I have a couple of housekeeping items before I turn it over to the to our panelists tonight. First of all, your cameras and your microphones are off. This is a webinar, so um, our panelists cannot see or hear you. Um, this is being recorded. And so um, the recording of this session, along with all the other sessions that happened today, will be available within one week at the website strivescan.com forward slash WACAC or W-A-C-A-C. -A -C. And we know that you're going to have some questions. And so um, at any time, you are welcome to put your question in the Q&A at the bottom of your screen. Um, in order to help our panelists, if you could list your question and then also the, the college that you're directing your question to, that will help them in knowing um, who to direct their, who to, who to answer, who you want to answer your question, sorry. <laughs> so again, put those questions in the Q&A. You don't have to wait for the institution to present before you put the question in the Q&A either. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our first school. You are going to have the opportunity to hear from University of California, Santa Barbara first. Awesome. Thank you so much, Courtney. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to be here today. And thank you all for joining us. My name is Robin Morton. I'm a freshman admissions counselor at UC Santa Barbara. And I'm really excited to briefly share with you all a few things that really makes this place so special. UC Santa Barbara is a world-renowned institution producing global research, and that is really spearheaded by our faculty. Six of our faculty members have won Nobel Prizes in chemistry, physics, and economics. We are ranked as the number six public university in the nation, which actually marks our seventh consecutive year being in the top 10. So that is definitely a point of pride for us. We are also ranked for having the number one happiest students at a public school in California, which in my opinion is likely part due to our picturesque seaside location. My virtual background is actually on our campus. And our campus environment overall is incredibly supportive to our students. We have resource centers, tutoring, mentorship programs, tailored advising, health and wellness programs, and much more. Now, in terms of our student population, we are a mid-sized UC that is located about 90 miles north of Los Angeles with 26,000 students, 23,000 of which are undergraduate students working on their bachelor's degree. This means that there really isn't that much competition with graduate students to get research and internships. In addition to that, we're the largest four-year institution within a 60 mile radius to the north and the south of us, meaning no competition with students from other large four-year institutions in the area for internships, job opportunities, things like that. Now, UC Santa Barbara offers about 100 different majors spanning dozens of disciplines, and they are structured across three colleges. Most of our students fall in the College of Letters and Science. It is our largest college, housing about 80 of our 90-ish majors, and it's really got everything. Hard sciences, social sciences, visual and performing arts, including the most popular major for our incoming freshmen, undeclared. We have five majors in our College of Engineering, Computer Science, Computer Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. With a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio in this college, our engineering students have a lot of opportunities to work one on one or hands on with their professors to get those research and internship opportunities. And lastly, our College of Creative Studies is a college for students who are really passionate about a particular subject, or maybe they want that long term research or creative career. Students in this college are now the ones that are expected to create new knowledge or to create new work. These students are working directly with faculty mentors, and while they're still going to class like every other student, they're spending a lot of time working on their own independent research project or their own creative project. Now, while we don't have a medical school or a law school at UCSB, we do have both a health professions advising as well as a pre-law advising program to really help prepare you for those careers. These programs have advisors that will help keep you on track academically and help get you the experience you need, whether that be in the form of internships, research, or other opportunities. And these programs really do work. Our students get into medical school or law school at higher rates than the national average. So that is de definitely something that we are proud of here at UCSB. 
Now, before I talk about housing, I do want to be clear that the information I'm sharing with you is pre-2020. It probably comes as no surprise that now, given the pandemic, our housing situation looks very different than typical. So I am hopeful that we will return to more on-campus living in the future, but I just wanna be clear that this information is really based on what we've seen in the past and what I hope we'll return to sooner than later. That being said, because of our location, over 80% of our students live either on or within a square mile of campus. And this tight-knit community really creates the feel that students don't just go to school here, that their lives are here as well. If you want to see your friends, just walk to them. It is really that easy. We have eight residence halls, five of them are oceanfront property and six apartment complexes. So there are housing options for incoming freshmen as well as incoming transfer students. And because students live so close to campus, of course they want to be involved. Our students have created over 500 student organizations on our campus. Everything from social to active, cultural to political, helping them stay connected, get leadership experience, and build a strong network. Of course, we do have our sports here at UCSB. Our highest level of competition are our Division I NCAA teams. We have sport clubs, intramural leagues, and we do have our adventure programs that students can participate in as well. Now, that is a very brief overview of UC Santa Barbara, but before I turn it over, I do want to connect you with some resources. So if you are interested, this is a great page to take a photo of with your phone or a screenshot of, whatever your preference. You can search all of our undergraduate majors at UCSB by visiting that top link. If you're interested in what might my cost of attendance be, you can find your estimated cost of attendance by visiting that website, uh, our financial aid and scholarships website. Of course, uh, the UC application opens August every single year, so not quite yet, but that is a good link to have in your back pocket. And you can actually browse all of our virtual events this spring for prospective students by visiting that bottom link and it'll pull up that PDF that's on the right side of the screen. Thank you again so much. If you would like to join our mailing list to stay up to date with all of the important admissions information at UC Santa Barbara or anything like that, you can visit that link there on the screen, scan that QR code. I've also included it in the chat box, whoops. Here we go to all the attendees. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email UCSB for me at sa.ucsb.edu. Thank you. Robin, thanks so much to you and UC Santa Barbara. Next up, I have the opportunity to introduce um, University of California, Irvine. All right, hi everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brian G. I'm one of the admissions uh, officers for the undergraduate admissions office at UC Irvine. And uh, let me just give you the top six things about UC Irvine, and I only have six minutes to do so. So we're going to just jump right in. Um, UCI is a top 10 public university. We're number two for campus environment by the Times Higher Education and Wall Street Journal. Um, we'll talk a little about location in a second, five miles from the beach, and over 150 majors and minors. Um, we are one of the top five most applied to universities in the nation with about 30,000 undergraduate students and another 6,000 for uh, professional students. So number one is location. Uh, we are located right in the heart of Southern California. We're in between LA and San Diego and really close to uh, Riverside as well. We're, um, like I said, five miles from the beach. You may notice um, a couple uh, really good locations that are familiar to you, such as Disneyland, which is hope hopefully opening in the next uh, month or so. Um, but we're also uh, very close to just everything Southern California wise, about 90 minutes from almost all the major attractions from San Diego to LA um, and so forth. Um, 281 sunny days a year. Um, so again, we do have great coastal beach weather here. Um, also, Irvine is one of the top ranked uh, safest cities in America based on the FBI crime statistics. So this is our 14th year in a row uh, in, in, um, in a row that we've actually been ranked as the number one safest city in America based on our size and population. The number two thing about UC Irvine is really our interdisciplinary approach. And that's just a really big college where to say, you can actually study a lot of different disciplines all together. We actually encourage you to just enter into more than one uh, specific academic area. As you can see here, our campus is in a giant circle. And what that really promotes is the interdisciplinary nature of the university, meaning that if you're looking at engineering and arts, it's very easy to combine those two things. Or if you're looking at biology and education, to, so you can actually get a bio, bio degree, but also your teaching credential, you can actually do that. 
our campus by design is to encourage that. So as you can see here, all of our academic units actually surround this circle right here. And to just give you a scale of it, the outer ring, which we call Ring Road, is about a mile around the campus. So that just kind of gives you the scope of how big our campus is. And it's really easy to kind of get back and forth. You can see here, um, as long as you start walking, you'll never get lost because you'll eventually come back to where you started from. We have about 14 different um, academic schools and all the majors actually fit into these areas. So you can see here, we have School of the Arts, School of Information Computer Science, which is separate from School of Engineering. We have a business school, our School of Biological Sciences, Physical Sciences, Social Ecology, Social Sciences. And then we have a whole new area called um, the College of Health Sciences, which compri comprises nursing, pharmaceutical sciences, and the all important public health. And of course, if you can't decide, which we also encourage students to do, is to come in undergraduate undeclared. So number three is really working in Orange County. Um, you'll recognize a lot of really uh, probably familiar logos that you see here. All of these companies are located right there in Orange County. So the, the, um, the opportunity to actually get internships, to do research projects, to actually get um, careers after you graduate, we have great partnerships with these companies right here. So from Google and tech to Blizzard, uh, which is right down the street in Irvine here, the Walt Disney Company, obviously, um, Boeing for engineering, you have Edwards for life sciences, Broadcom for um, technology, and then Goldman Sachs um, for business, basically. So all of these companies, again, are located right in Orange County, and we have great, great partnerships with them. We have four career fairs every single year, and these companies will specifically come on campus to recruit UC students. So number four is definitely the return on investment. Um, our student success here, you can see right the numbers, 94% of our students end up returning, um, meaning that they have a retention rate um, of coming back for their second year. Our four-year graduation rates are 69%, and our six-year graduation rate is a whopping 85%, which is well above the national average. Students who are typically graduates of UCI go on to uh, earn top-ranked salaries among public universities. The other thing is that you also become a lifelong anteater so that you actually have access to 200,000 plus UC Irvine alumni and part of the 1.8 million alumni as part of the University of California system. Uh, the UC system is worldwide uh, brand recognition, so you can know that anywhere in the world you go to, you're going to meet someone who graduated from a UC system. Uh, number five is our anteater spirit and active student life. Um, we have 600 clubs and organizations on campus, and if there's a club that's not offered, you can actually start your own club. We also are part of NCAA Division I, the Big West Conference. Um, basketball is our main sport. We lost a really tough game to UC Santa Barbara last night, so congratulations to them as they go on to the NCAA tournament. Um, also, we have intramural clubs, and we also have one of the most unique programs, which is one of the top esports programs in the nation. If you're not familiar with esports, we actually have a competitive varsity team that actually competes in three games, League of Legends, um, Heroes of the Storm, and Overwatch, and Super Smash Brothers. So um, you can actually get a scholarship to be on one of our competitive esports teams. We're actually one of the first um, Division I, R1 uh, research universities to actually have a fully fledged esports program with scholarships uh, for those teams. Finally, the last thing is just fun and be on campus. This is just um, a, a quick picture of one of our attractions that we do every year, which is breaking a Guinness Book of World Record. This is the world's largest dodgeball game. It just kind of gives you an idea of our student spirit. And then finally, number six is really just diversity and inclusion. Looking at um, just when you come to campus, you're going to be in a diverse environment where we're number six in the US for awarding bachelor's degrees to minority students. We have a lot of resources here for our students as well. Um, and that's it for my time. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, pop it into the Q&A section. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brian, to you and UC Irvine. Um, audience, don't forget to put those questions in the Q&A when you have them. List your question and then also um, make sure you note the, the institution that you're directing your question to so our panelists can respond appropriately. Next up, I have the opportunity to introduce to you the University of California Merced. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for joining us. My name is Iona Nee and I'm with the Undergraduate Office of Admissions at the University of California, Merced. UC Merced is the newest and 10th addition to the UC system. We opened up in 2005, so we're just a little over 15 years old. And being that we are built in the 21st century, 
we are truly an example of a very modern, sustainable campus where everything is new, brand new, built from the ground up, used with recycled material. We actually have a river that flows through campus and helps create and control the AC system throughout the university. We are centrally located in the heart of California. We are literally in the center of the state, about 40 miles north of the center of the state. We are roughly four hours north from the Los Angeles area, about two hours east of the Bay Area. And what's really unique about our campus is our proximity to Yosemite National Park. So if you love nature, you love the outdoors, you can actually be a park ranger at Yosemite where our students live and work there and get paid internships. Being that we are the newest UC, we're also the smallest in terms of student population. We have roughly 9,000 students total. So students love that UC Merced, you're getting that UC education, but more at the scale of a smaller mid-sized campus. And most of our students are coming from California, surprisingly most from Southern California. And because our graduate student population is really small with about 700 students total, they actually invite undergrad students to engage in research. So many students at UC Merced love that they have the opportunity to do research prior to their senior year. Over 60% have creative projects with faculty and staff. We are also considered a Hispanic serving institution and we're also eligible to be an Anapizi serving institution. Anapizi is Asian American, Native American, Pacific Islander. And within the past few years, UC Merced has rapidly expanded. We have doubled the campus's size. Last summer, we opened up our huge aquatic center, our health center, we've added more dorms, classroom, office space. And what's really unique about our campus is we have multi-development buildings where we have classroom office spaces at the bottom and dorms, residential halls at the top, really providing that community atmosphere. And at UC Merced, we have three schools, the School of Engineering, Natural Sciences, Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. There's roughly 24 different majors, and we are adding more majors every year. We're about to launch Civil Engineering, very exciting, and we're not impacted in any major, meaning when you apply to Merced with a certain major, you have the freedom to choose a different major once you enroll at our campus. And at UC Merced, we are ranked number one in the UC system for students who pursue a master's degree, and we're tied for number two for students who pursue a PhD. About 50% of our students go on to pursue post-secondary education. And because we're a relatively new campus, our students love that they have the opportunity to help build the culture and identity of UC Merced. If we don't have a club or sport that fits your interest, you can easily start that here. We have over 250, everything from multicultural, music, arts, dance, Greek life. We also have a very active student body where we host a lot of events. Pre-COVID, of course, we had roughly 700 events on campus, but we've still hosted a lot of our big events virtually. We have, a, if you all know Coachella Music Festival, we have what's called Cowchella at UC Merced, but of course, due to the pandemic, it's going to be Couchella. So we have a lot of big artists. We've had like Steve Aoki from T-Pain and our, uh, some big comedians like Tiffany Haddish. So again, at UC Merced, there's always a lot of things going on. And what's really unique about our campus is our application process where for the UC system, for the most part, you apply a year prior to enrollment and the application opens up in August and then you submit it by the end of November. At UC Merced, we're also open for the spring semester, meaning you can, if you're looking to take a gap year, you can apply throughout July to enroll by the spring semester, which starts in January. And I also wanna mention our financial aid because at UC Merced, we're number one for percentage of students who receive need and based aid. So UCM also stands for University of Cash Money because we are quite generous with our financial aid packages. One of the main reasons students choose to come to UC Merced. But I also want to highlight for any of our students in Nevada, we also offer WUI, Western Undergraduate Exchange, where you can receive a great discount on your tuition and fees. You're actually paying roughly only $7,000 more than a California resident. And WUI is eligible for all majors. And in order to be eligible for WUI, you just need a certain GPA of a 3.5. That's just 0.1 more than the GPA needed to be eligible to apply to UC. And you do not need to submit a separate application for WUI. When you apply to UC, just by submitting the application, we will screen you to see if you're automatically eligible for WUI. And WUI is eligible for all four years. And if you're a transfer student, it's eligible for two years. And lastly, I hope to stay connected with you. There is a QR code at the, on our slide where you can scan it with your smartphone. It'll take you directly to all of our webinars, our virtual events. 
If you're interested in learning more, feel free to check out our website as well as email us at admissions at ucmerced.edu. I just want to say thank you again, everybody, for joining us. I look forward to answering your questions in the Q&A box. Go Bobcats! Thank you so much. Isn't this a fun way to, to hear from schools? Um, we've heard from three great ones so far, and we still have three great ones to go. So um, next up, you're going to hear from the University of California, Santa Cruz. Hello, my name is Gene Park, and I'm a senior evaluator at University of California, Santa Cruz. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what makes UC Santa Cruz different by design. UC Santa Cruz is located in Northern California, about an hour and a half south of San Francisco and five hours uh, from Los Angeles. Our campus is located two up miles from the coast, sitting on 2,000 acres of redwood forests, meadows, and panoramic views of the Monterey Bay. 300 sunny days a year with a wealth of outdoor recreation opportunities. Beaches, state forests, hiking, and biking trails. If you have a student who is looking to study in an environment surrounded by nature and with easy access to a large city, UC Santa Cruz might be the place for them. In addition to our outdoor access, we also are the closest UC campus to Silicon Valley. UCSC graduates from all academic fields and backgrounds are in demand by this innovative industry. A part of what makes UC Santa Cruz unique is our research opportunities for undergraduate students. About 75% of our students take advantage of research as an undergraduate student. One main factor for this can be related to our campus demographic. We have about 17,500 undergraduate students and just under 2,000 graduate students. This translates to a higher likelihood of undergraduate research funding since the campus is slighted toward undergrads. Students looking to make an impact within their academic division and major have a plethora of opportunities at UC Santa Cruz. We encourage academic and self-exploration through our 70 majors and 39 minors. Some of our most popular majors are computer science, film and digital media, psychology, business management economics, and human biology, which is our pre-med program. Each year we add new majors. A few of the newest ones we've added are critical race and ethnic studies, continuous study bachelor master's program in electronic and computer engineering, biotechnology, and a black studies minor. Admitted students are placed into their proposed major or undeclared cluster until the end of their second year when a major declaration is required giving ample time and opportunity to explore different fields for best fit. The exception to this is our computer science major, uh, which must be declared at the time of application. Our campus champions interdisciplinary approaches to academic study. A great example of this is art and design, games and playable media, which blends creativity, technology, and personal expression, culminating with a senior project to create a digital game in collaboration with Bachelor of Science students. This is a great combination of arts and engineering disciplines. Another way that we solidify the interdisciplinary spirit of UC Santa Cruz is through our housing arrangements, which are different by design. Rather than a traditional university experience where residential and academic spaces are separate, at UC Santa Cruz, these are shared spaces through our 10 college system, where students both live, study, and have access to advisors unique to each college. Our colleges offer a small scale community for students within the larger university. The 10 colleges are not major specific, which means that students will meet peers across all 70 majors within the college. This system has existed since our inception with the founder's idea that, and goal of idea exchange and pushing boundaries across disciplines. Each college is a cultural, social, and activity hub that offers everything from dances and student government to photo labs, gardens, intramural teams, and pottery clubs. Expanding on our extracurricular activities, we have over 200 clubs and organizations, including ethnic, career, religious, and lifestyle options. We have many Greek organizations, and around 9% of our students are part of Greek life. UC Santa Cruz offers both competitive sports and recreational sports. We have NCAA Division III athletic teams such as men's tennis, women's volleyball, uh, and intramural clubs like ultimate frisbee, ballroom dancing, equestrian, lacrosse, and rugby. Being a coastal campus, we excel in water sports such as surfing, sailing, and water polo. We celebrate our diversity and encourage our students to expand their perspective by learning about new cultures. Uh, with our ethnic and identity resource centers, African American, American Indian, Asian American, Pacific Islander, and Chicano Latino Resource Centers, as well as the Lionel Cantu LGBTQI Center and Women's Center. All these resource centers offer workshops, cultural events, meetings, study spaces, support, and a community for students to thrive and be their best. Your student success is our success, and at UC Santa Cruz, we offer layer support and resources to ensure student success. For example, students receive general advising about gen ed requirements, overall academic progress, and major selection from their college resident advisors. 
Our department advisors, on the other hand, provide guidance on major requirements. They help students identify research opportunities, inform students of internships, and department scholarship opportunities. Our educational opportunity program provides a variety of academic and personal support for first-gen and low-income or educationally disadvantaged backgrounds. Our Career Center helps prepare students with relevant career skills, including resume reviews, advice on applying a major to employment opportunities, and hosting on-campus career and graduate fairs. For our students' health, we have a health center included on, including an on-campus pharmacy, counseling, and psychological services with an ethnically and identity-based diverse staff, and our own fire station, and an emergency blue light phone system throughout the campus. Our alumni are highly sought after locally and globally. Our top employers for 2019 included Apple, Google, Amazon, Genentech, Facebook, Kaiser, and Intel, just to name a few. We were recently identified as one of the 20 universities most likely to land you a job in Silicon Valley. If you'd like to learn more, please follow us on social media, take a virtual tour, or get in touch with an admissions outreach representative, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much, Jean, to you and UC Santa Cruz. Guys, don't forget, put those questions in the Q&A. You don't want to miss out on your opportunity to get those. I know our panelists are feverishly answering all the questions being submitted. Next up, I have the pleasure to introduce to you the University of San Diego, or University of California, San Diego. I'm so sorry. No worries. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Azizi James, and happy to be here with you today uh, to share about UC San Diego. Uh, so as the slides come up here, I want to first talk to you about um, our wonderful location. So we are here in sunny San Diego with about 300 days of sunshine, a beautiful opportunity to engage in a multiple types of uh, experiences, whether you want to surf at the beach or go to the mountains and ski um, or be in the desert, it's all um, in drivable distance um, to get to all of those places. Um, our campus is about 1,200 acres, um, so it's very, uh, very big. Uh, many of our students compare it to about two times the size of Central Park. If you've ever been to New York, which I have a couple of times, um, and know how big that park is, you can imagine how large then our campus is. Um, students are, like I mentioned, they can be at the beach. They're literally about 10 minutes from the beach um, at La Jolla Shores, which is one of the most beautiful beaches um, that we have here in California. And then um, we are a very uh, uh, robust campus. Students are getting around in a lot of different ways, including uh, on their skateboards or bikes. Um, but we also are excited to announce that our trolley uh, stations will be opening, hopefully by the end of this year, uh, where you can access all of San Diego, um, even all the way down to the Mexico border. So really great um, opportunity for you, for you to see what is here to what is here for you in San Diego. We have almost 31,000 undergraduate students, um, as well as um, many graduate students in the School of Medicine, as well as the School of Pharmacy, um, and many other departments on our campus. We have about 600 plus student organizations, including Greek organizations. Um, and even if you don't have an organization on our campus that you're interested in, you can start one, just like one of our students started a Quidditch club because she was a big Harry Potter fan. I'm not really sure how they played Quidditch, but they started one and they had a great time. Um, last couple of things, uh, just wanna mention about our campus community resource centers. Uh, we have our Black Resource Center, our Raza Resource Centro, and you can go back a couple of slides, Taylor, <laughs> sorry, um, before I move on to our rankings. Um, so we have our campus community resource centers, um, as well as we are division one for NC2A. We will be competing in the Big West Conference and we're really excited about that. So now talking about our rankings. Uh, we are number one public institution by the Washington Monthly, um, which uh, really shows that we are providing a great education um, at a very um, economical cost, which leads to our second ranking, which is our best public college for the value. Um, that is really important to us. Many of our students are coming in here and having a lot of information or a lot of uh, funding and financial aid to be able uh, to provide them with um, that access to the university. Our students are doing research within their first year, presenting at uh, 
presenting at conferences, publishing, um, and I do apologize for our technical difficulties. It's moving on its own. <laughs> uh, but we are able to have our students publish in academic journals and patent ideas. So really coming to a campus where if you have a little idea that you're interested in growing, um, we have places like the basement on our campus where you can actually um, grow that idea and work to put something out into the market um, or bring something new to our community. So really excited about all those opportunities. Next slide. So next we wanna talk about our majors. We have over 140 different majors in eight different disciplines. You can see them all listed here from the arts and humanities all the way down to the social sciences. Um, the majors that are listed on the right-hand side in the blue font are what we call capped majors. So these majors mean we have only a select number of spots in these majors. And so we have to um, really make a hard decision on who can start off in these majors. However, if you're not admitted into this major, it is not going to prevent you from being admitted into the institution. We do not admit by major. And in many cases, when you come to our campus, you can seek out any of these majors uh, that you're interested in to transfer into them at a later date. Um, the engineering department is a very competitive department. They have wonderful programs. Um, so there are some differences as to how you get into those majors. Um, but remember, for the most part, you are able to get into as many of them um, as you are interested in. Next slide, please. So I'll talk quickly about our college system. Uh, we have a seven college system. Uh, ours, just like Santa Cruz, is not related to your major or your minor. We have students in all different majors in each college. Um, it's where you will get your general education academic advising. There are student support services, honors programs, as well as different um, student life activities. It's really your home base at the larger institution. As I shared earlier with 1200 acres, it is a very large campus and we wanna make sure that you feel like you have a community. And so one of those ways is being in the college system. Um, and you can think of it, I'll bring back that Harry Potter because I'm a big fan. Um, our students describe this as like Hogwarts. So you see San Diego as Hogwarts and then you have your different houses, Slytherin, Gryffindor and the other two that I can never remember. And you will take classes together, no matter which um, house you're in, you're all in classes together. So that's how you should think about our colleges and you will need to rank them on the application. So we encourage you to research them so that you know exactly what it is um, that they stand for. They all have philosophies um, which guide the general education pattern that you will take. So be sure to take a look at that and rank those accordingly. And lastly, we'll go to our connect slide. And this is where you can find our information of how to connect with us. We have events that will be taking place throughout the year. And if you wanna sign up for our updates, please do submit it on that link. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Next um, up is our final presentation tonight from Santa Rosa Junior College. Thank you so much. I'll just get the... PowerPoint up here, get it to play, there it goes. All right, so my name is Amy Merkel. I'm a counselor and the Transfer Center Director at Santa Rosa Junior College, which is part of the California Community College System. We're one of 115 community colleges in California. We are located one hour north of San Francisco and we have lots of opportunities for students. We have two campuses, Santa Rosa being the main campus and Petaluma being the campus that's about 20 minutes south from Santa Rosa. We have a culinary arts center for students that are interested in going that route. We have a college farm that's over 365 acres, as well as a public safety training center. We've been around for more than 100 years with our first class starting in 1918. And today we have about 21,000 students enrolled. So even though we are a community college, we are very large. We offer over 113 associate degrees for students and over 140 career certificate programs that students might be interested in going into. So why would you come to Santa Rosa Junior College? Well, for a lot of students, they're not ready to commit to a university. They're not quite sure of which route they wanna go as far as their major. And so starting at a community college might make sense for you. Some students aren't interested in earning a bachelor's degree. 
They would like to earn a career program, go into a career program, earn a certificate or associate's degree and go into work. And so that's why a community college is a valuable place to get started. Other students are interested in earning an associate's degree and then transferring on from a community college such as SRJC to a four-year university. And one of the best reasons to come to us is to save money. Um, and so you can explore your college experience um, without spending so much money as you're doing that. So at SRJC, um, university starts here. If you are interested in going on to your bachelor's degree, we have over 1,400 students that transfer from SRJC to a four-year university each and every year. Um, the majority of our students do stay up north with UC Davis being our number one UC campus, followed by UC Berkeley and then UC Santa Cruz. And for the California State Universities, we have Sonoma State right next door to us. Um, and our students also look at San Francisco State and SAC. Um, however, they do go anywhere within the state of California as well as um, around the United States. We participate in what's called the TAG program. It's the Transfer Admission Guarantee. Students from SRJC can write a contract with, with one of six participating UC campuses and they are guaranteed admission as long as they meet the criteria. Students interested in the California State University can earn an associate's degree and then they have admission benefits to those CSU campuses. The Transfer Center will um, assist you through the application process. We offer workshops and counseling. We take field trips during normal times. Um, and we also have um, university representatives that visit our campus and want to speak with you. Um, currently, those are obviously happening virtually. Our career education programs, as I mentioned, 140 certificates. In our public safety area, we have fire, paramedic and EMT, police, we have a police academy and corrections academy. Our farm, which is 365 acres, has 120 acres of forest land. We have animal science programs as well as equine, viticulture, we have a running winery and a sustainable ag program. You could do things in computer studies, graphic design, web design, communication, film and media, journalism, child development, the health sciences. So all things um, are possible at Santa Rosa Junior College. And if you visit our website, you'll be able to see all the different areas that we have that you could um, focus in on. Just as with the four-year universities, our campus is very robust in uh, students getting involved on campus. We have learning communities for students um, to be connected to um, each other as well as the campus. Uh, we have over 40 active clubs on campus. We have nine men's athletic teams and eight women's teams. And over the years, we've won 20 state titles. We also have rugby and, and uh, ice hockey, which are club sports. Students get involved through student government. We have theater and dance performances four uh, theater productions a year. We have also summer repertory theater that happens on our campus, an annual dance concert, as well as a touring dance company. And then the Oak Leaf is our um, student run newspaper as well as um, a magazine. We have lots of student services. One of the uh, you know, biggest transitions to college is making sure that you feel connected. And so we have lots of services to ensure that students will feel connected and know where to go to get help. As far as paying for college at SRJC and all California community colleges, it's $46 a unit. If you are a sophomore or junior, you could attend SRJC for free. So we offer dual enrollment for our high school students um, where you do not have to pay the $46 a unit if you're a California resident. We have financial aid available, federal state, um, uh, opportunities as well as local funds. The Doyle Scholarship is something that we are very proud of. Um, and then of course there are um, uh, grants that you can also apply for as well. And then just for our new students, we wanna make sure that you know that you will be connected when you come to SRJC and we have lots of assistance for you. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Amy. Um, so 
I'm going to ask our um, our presenters to turn their cameras back on and I'll go a little bit off script because I've been watching the, the chat um, and the Q&A and I want to give them an opportunity to answer some of the questions that have been more popular. Um, one of those questions is, what about visits? How can I see your institution or how can I get to know your institution a little bit better? And so we'll go round robin in that same um, that same way that we presented, starting with UC Santa Barbara. And just could you talk a little bit about um, availability of campus tours and if know that what kind of virtual options would be a great match for um, juniors and soft juniors and seniors that are in the college search right now? Sure. So currently UC Santa Barbara, our campus is closed and that does include our visitor center. So we are not offering any in-person tours. However, we do have our virtual events page on our website, which where you can find, you know, scheduling um, or signing up for, excuse me, uh, virtual guided tours from our current tour guides. You can sign up for virtual presentations, our faculty lectures, things like that. So I will be including that link in the chat now. And at UC Irvine, it's basically the same thing. Our campus is closed uh, for all visitors, uh, but we do have a daily uh, campus presentation from a current student. And then uh, in the next few weeks, uh, we'll be actually offering a a uh, live virtual tour where you will be able to stream and you can actually interact with our tour guide that will be walking around on camera. Um, so you can ask them questions and it'll be about 30 minutes long. And I'll put our visit uh, link in the chat as well. Thank you, Courtney. For UC Merced, we do offer virtual tours. We actually offer drone tours that our engineering department helped develop. We actually just launched our drive-through tours that are happening starting next week. So you can visit UC Merced at the comfort of your car. If you have a smartphone, we do have a YouTube page where you can follow along the guided stops to learn more as you drive in front of each building and campus development. So I'll put that in the chat for you to learn more about our virtual tours and our drive-through tours. At UC Santa Cruz, uh, we are also closed for um, live tours, but um, we have pre-recorded tours and photos, including 360 degree panoramas for an asynchronous tour. Uh, we do also have student-led virtual tours um, which offer kind of a walkthrough and then a live Q&A uh, answering session. And uh, I'll go ahead and drop that resource as well in the chat. Uh, for San Diego, we um, are also closed, um, like most have mentioned. Um, so we do encourage you all to utilize our website. Uh, we do have info sessions as well as uh, tours and we do live virtual tours. So we're not on campus, our students are not on, are not on campus walking around. Um, but they are walking you through um, the virtual tour platform. Um, so it's uh, a lot to digest on its own. So sometimes it's really helpful to do that as well. And we'll drop info in the chat. We are also closed at Santa Rosa Junior College and we do not have a virtual tour, but you can visit our website to see the different campuses and centers that I talked about and get an idea of um, what the campus looks like. So I hope that you guys recognized how creative colleges and universities are being in their way for you to, to see their institutions, whether that be um, live virtual tours, drone tours. Um, I know uh, colleges and universities are more active on social media. So there's still some really great ways for you to explore a college or university, even if you're unable to get to the physical campus. It's actually been one of the um, silver linings of the pandemic. We always talk about access. And um, for whatever reason, most colleges and universities didn't before the pandemic have a virtual um, info session. So um, you've got six minutes, but there's so much more to, to hear from each college. And so make sure that you take advantage of those different offerings. So really quickly, guys, um, if you could share, you'll maybe have 20 seconds like a fun fact or a favorite campus tradition and we'll go in the same order all right i would say that a fun fact about uc santa barbara is that we actually have seven miles of bike paths on our campus and upwards of twenty thousand bike parking spots so as you can imagine that is pretty much the primary form of transportation for our students here Uh, for UC Irvine, uh, one of the slides I shared was uh, a Guinness Book of World Record for the largest dodgeball event. We also broke world records for the world's largest squirt gun fight, pillow fight, capture the flag game, but we didn't break the record for the world's, uh, I guess it's like four square dodgeball. 
which I have no clue how that works. For you, Seymour said, being that we are in a rural agricultural area, pre-COVID, of course, when students were living on campus, on campus all the time, we actually host our own farmer's market where you can use your meal plan. So that was really cool. If you're into cooking or if you're living in the dorms with kitchens, you could just purchase for produce fresh from the farmer themselves at the farmer's market on campus. For UC Santa Cruz, our mascot, the banana slug, is a species that is endemic to this area. So it's unique to this area, the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, for San Diego, I'll mention our big con um, concert, which is the Sun God Festival, very much like Coachella, but just for our students, we've had big headliners such as Snoop Dogg and Drake, um, and our students really enjoy it, so lots of fun. As I mentioned, SRJC started in 1918, and one of the reasons we started was because there were no bridges from the North Bay over. And so we have a longstanding history with UC Berkeley and uh, Stanford. Our mascot, mascot is the bear cubs after Berkeley cow bears, and our colors are red and blue, which are associated with Berkeley and Stanford. Wow, what great information you guys have gotten tonight. I know our panelists have been feverishly trying to answer all of the questions in the chat. So if um, they weren't able to respond to you and they've done such a great job, we just have run out of time. So they are all welcome. They welcome your questions. And so feel free to reach out to them via email or call them. Um, they're happy to respond to anything that maybe they weren't able to get to in the chat. Um, with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, as you close out, there'll be a quick four question survey. Um, so provide us with some feedback. As I mentioned, this session was recorded and will be available um, on the website strivescan.com slash WACAC within a week. And with that, I will say have a good one, everyone, and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.